Indonesia is where the best adventures unfold under the open sky. A perfect canvas for extraordinary experiences. After two weeks of editing from a hotel room, I felt like waking up to something like this. So I set up camp on one of the most spectacular mountain sides in the archipelago. A secluded paradise hidden in between the mountains. Only 40 families calls this place home. But it is not smooth roads that makes the best stories. Because getting there is not easy. The weather can be questionable. And I nearly lost my motorcycle off the side of a cliff. So allow me to show you the great Olin Valley in South Sulawesi. Selamat pagi guys! It is another beautiful morning here in Indonesia. And I've now spent around two full weeks inside of a hotel room editing my Toraja video. So I thought, how can I get outside, get some fresh air, still a bit of adventure and a bit of me time. So today guys, we're heading to one of the most famous camping destinations here in Sulawesi. It's called Olon. It's supposed to be a very mountainous area, very beautiful and it is about 2 hours and 50 kilometers away from Makale. So I thought, yeah, let's go on a quick camping trip before we continue our journey here from uh, Toraja. So uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day guys. Let's go. So the only thing I'm a little bit worried about for today's trip guys is that it's a Sunday. So it means there's probably gonna be a lot of people at all on. But the good thing is I'm staying three nights. So hopefully tomorrow Monday and Tuesday it won't be too busy. And it will actually be my first camping trip yet in Sulawesi. Wait. Even during my whole Sabang Sabang Maroki journey. Yeah, I can't wait guys. Let's go camping. But before arriving in Olam, there was something I was looking to buy. So I asked many people along the way. Something that would perfectly fit the trip I was going on. And something local from Toraja. And I finally found someone who had it. Selamat pagi. Saya cari balo. Gimana saya bisa beli balo? Ah, bagus. Kudus semangat ya. Oke. Ah, mission successful. I had this idea that when I'm sitting tonight enjoying the sunset. I wanted to have a little bit of balo to drink and finally I found it. They asked for 20,000 for a one and a half liter and they said I could also pay 30 if I wanted to. So I actually ended up giving them 50,000 so they were very very happy. Oh guys we're still 40 minutes out but look at here, look at here. Good times has come our way. Look at these mountain views. That is pretty much all we're gonna be seeing the next few days. Mountain views, oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> all right guys, we are around 10 kilometers out. And uh, I think we're getting pretty close because look at this view. Oh my God. <sighs> Getting steep, yo! <laughs> I'm so happy! Let's go, my son! Get your boy! Ah, this is what we came to do! Yeah. How much do we got? Seven kilometers. Super close, actually. It just takes forever because of these small broken roads. Oh! Hello, Mr. Kubo. I love this already. Ah, so once you enter Olon here, there's actually two places you can go. You can go to a place called 
Phuket Romantis it's way up there and uh, the thing is you have to pay for water so that you can shower because it's too far from the river and Bukit Romances is also the most famous spot because it is the highest spot so most people will go there but I am going down to Bukit Olon it's called it's closer to the river we will still have a good view and there won't be as many people so uh, so there's one thing I'm really looking forward to it's showering in the river in the morning and in the afternoon and if I go to stay at Bukit Romantis I will be way too far from the river so uh, that's the plan considering that we are driving here in between the mountains I gotta say the roads are surprisingly good I mean it's definitely beton asphalt kawe <laughs> It looks like it was made in five minutes, but still way better than thick and deep mud trails. Ah, okay. Hati hati. Be careful, the sign says from here. I think the tarmac stops. Yeah. No problem, my son. We can handle that, right? Yeah. So I actually told KTM that I would be doing a bit more off-road adventure trips here in Sulawesi and if they could send me some off-road tires and they did the only problem was there was only stock for one so it's only my back tire that is made for off-road <laughs> oh my god my back brake yeah I should probably have had the back brake fixed before coming here because I do have to use my front brake going down this hill and that is not very smart if you're going down a steep hill and you don't have perfect traction you want to be using your back brake okay here we go Oh, holy shit! <laughs> oh, that was close! Oh. Machan, he might be a bike that can do trails as well, but fully packed. He's heavy to maneuver. Jesus! not fun going down a hill using your front brake <laughs> just waiting to see if your front wheel eventually is gonna slip oh. we'll have to rely on the engine brake luckily it's not too muddy today it's quite dry but you know, if I crash, at least we'll have it on video. You guys can have a good laugh. Oh, this is no bueno. Oh, shit. Tabe. Tabe means permisi in Basa Toraja. But good news guys, they are making, as we can see here, a better road. It's just not finished yet. Alright guys, I think we have made it to All on Village. Now the question is, where do we go from here? We could follow the advice of some locals. Salamat! Selamat siang. Kalau saya mau ke sana, saya lewat sini. Okay, okay. Apa? Banyaknya barangnya. Ya, banyak. Berapa bulan? Eh, satu bulan aja. Yeah. Okay, saya mau ke sana ya. 
Oke, okay, makasih. Mari, makasih ya. Nah, friendly locals, I like it. Oh, there's a small kiosk here as well. Where I can buy water, I can see. Oh, that's nice. Hello. Hello. Ah, so they are building new roads here to make it easier to access. I like it. That's very nice. As most of the hills have been closed off by the stone barriers, I was about to get a really bad idea. Alright guys, so I've spent around 30-40 minutes trying to find the best location and where I can still stay close to Machan because this is a must for me. And I think I've found it. Only thing is it might be a little bit dangerous but uh, I've decided it's worth the risk. So let's see how it goes. Holy fuck, that tickled my naughty bits. Whew. Oh my god, this is amazing. A little steep, but uh, seriously amazing. Oh, wow. I don't know if we can get much and all the way down there. It looks rather steep on the last part. And I do have to remember that my back brake is not fully functioning. So you know what? I think I will just test it out first. So this part is fairly easy. I think the next part should be okay as well. It's the last part that worries me. Here it does get quite a bit more steep with rocks, but could be okay. Yeah, so I would need to go down this way. And if I can make a turn, I'll go over the cliff. And as I was contemplating my bad idea, I was about to get an even worse idea. I finally found a spot. I definitely don't think it's a spot that's made for you to bring your motorcycle, but... Oh, we have to try. Wish me luck. Good start. I cannot tell if this was a bad idea or not. Uh, maybe it was a bad idea. But it felt like a good idea. Oh, strong side wind. Was not expecting that. Oh, fuck, maybe this was stupid. Ooh, adrenaline rush. Okay. We made it. Oh my god, that was so stupid. I can't even. Where to park Machan? We will park you. We need to turn Machan a bit. Oh, this was stupid. Fuck, this was dumb. I'm stuck on a cliff. <laughs> yeah, I did not think this one through. Okay, it's in gear. 
Just have to move it a little bit. As the hilltop I was now standing on was much wider than the motorcycle itself. My brilliant idea was this, to pull the kickstand, lean the bike on the kickstand and then turn it around. I had just forgotten that it was a sloping hill, so I wasn't able to pull out the kickstand. So I was now trying to pull 250 kilos backwards up the hill. My adrenaline was pumping and it was hot as I could only move it a few centimeters forward or backwards. And while trying to turn the bike around, I at the same time had to fight with all my strength not to let the bike go over the hill. And only 20 minutes later, I was able to turn Machan around. And I realized that it might be a smart idea to bring Machan back up the hill again. Well, that was fucking dumb. Okay, for the dumps. You know, the dumps they're going. Alright, guys. So today didn't go exactly according to my plan. My plan was to arrive here, quickly find a spot, set up the tents, and uh, start making some drone clips and making some lunch. But that's the thing about traveling, it rarely goes according to plan. Time just flew by and then I wanted to pick up the trash. And that took a while as well. Jesus, there's so much trash on the side of these mountains. It's crazy. Honestly, I believe that in a few years, this place is gonna be, nobody wants to visit it because there will be trash everywhere and then it won't look as beautiful. Yeah, hopefully this video can help show people that they shouldn't throw trash here because then it's gonna be nasty, this place. Anyway, once I was finished picking up the trash, then it started to rain. So now I'm sitting here cooped up in the tent. I haven't had anything to eat yet today, so I think I'll go ahead and cook some dinner and then that's gonna be it for today. Actually, I'm super tired, so it is so cozy to sit here inside of the tent. It's raining and falling asleep to that will be even better. Hopefully no thunder tonight so I can sleep safe and sound. And I promise tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys a lot more of this place. Well guys, I thought that was gonna be it for today once it started raining. As I came out to wash the dishes, I could just hear hundreds of these bird sounds. I think it's swallows. They were just all over. And this blanket of clouds over the mountain tops have now appeared. It's still raining a little bit, but I did end up getting the ending of the day that I wanted to, which was sit in front of my tent, enjoy the view, and have a sip of balo. No idea if this is good or it will make me sick, but never try, never know. Ah, it's alright. Cheers. A little bit unsure if it's supposed to smell like eggs, though. Well, wish me luck. Selamat pagi guys, it is truly a beautiful morning here in Indonesia, waking up to this view over the Olon Valley, it is unreal, it's like we're living in the clouds, we have this blanket of clouds going over the mountain tops, 
and all the birds flying around in the morning. As soon as you open the tent, it's like looking at a painting. You're like, wow. So I woke up a little late. I woke up around six. So I've made myself a cup of coffee now, just sitting here, enjoying the scenery. And people got up early to go to the mountaintops to get some good selfies and enjoy the view. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day, guys. Cheers to all of them. All right, guys, it is now nine o'clock and now I'm having my breakfast. The same thing as I have every single morning, oats with protein powder. It's not the most fancy, but keeps me full and it's healthy. So a thing I really want to mention is, this trip really reminds me how much respect I have for the YouTubers who makes camping content. Because every time you see something beautiful, instead of just sitting down and enjoying it, you gotta remember, oh yeah, I have to document it. And then you gotta change camera lenses or use the drone and, oh, but you also kind of wanna get a shower, but you gotta get this shot first. You also have to go to the toilet that will have to wait. So massive respect to my fellow YouTuber, Ryan, AKA Bule Bolang. He makes a lot of this camping content. And I'm telling you guys, it is a lot more difficult than it looks. So a credit to you, mate. Well, guys, makandulu. All right, guys, it is now 11 o'clock and it is smoking hot. It's gotta be at least 30 degrees, feeling like 34. So uh, now I thought, let's head down to the village and see how it looks like down there and definitely get a shower in the river. Let's go. Only around 40 families lives in the Olan Valley. They have a small cemetery and I was surprised to learn that they have a school here as well with nearly 100 students. I continued as I didn't want to disturb too much and I needed to find a shower. But getting to the river requires yet a bit more off-roading. Coming to Olan by car, you can walk down the hill as well, but you definitely have to visit this river. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a lot better than it looks. <laughs> this is so good. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be cooled down. As I had brought shampoo, I could enjoy possibly the best shower view I have ever had. And I then had some unexpected visitors who were happy to meet a pale foreigner. Hello, guys. Making a fine. Mau mandi. Yeah. Yeah, boys. We good lah. Both kids and adults will come to this river every day to shower and wash their clothes. I spend a good hour with the kids by the water, trying my best to make them laugh. What kept going through my mind was, what an incredible place for these kids to grow up. Being close to the nature, the river, and these majestic mountain views. Not so much tablet or phone time, as the signal is limited. I also gave them my GoPro to try out, which often result in some funny clips when I'm not looking.
All right, guys. So it is the middle of the day here in the Olin Valley, and the city is more or less like a ghost town because it is so hot. So this is where I come to this small local shop here in the Kampung to buy the big aqua bottles and a big water bottle is 15,000 rupiah and here very important they also have ice so here I come to get a block of ice that I can put in my drinking bottle later and I'm also ordering a papaya kind of smoothie juice with ice uh. I think they're a little bit tired though that I'm disturbing them in the middle of the day. They don't seem too happy to be making money right now, but that's okay. <laughs> ah. Now Ibushi got very happy because I told all of the kids if they want something to drink, then I will pay. And I think all of the kids from the village have showed up. <laughs> Unfortunately, the electricity died shortly after, so we couldn't use the blender to make drinks with ice. Luckily, Ibu, she had ice cream in her freezer. It was a bit more expensive, so everyone was happy. As it's still the rain season, it surely rained again in the afternoon. But I actually enjoyed it, only having the option to sit in my tent and relax. No signal and nothing else to do. I did have a bit of company as a mountain dog envied my shelter. To be fair, I'm not the biggest foodie. So right now I'm cooking some Indomie and then I'll be mixing it with some in Indonesia they call it cornet but actually it's just corned beef Ooh, yeah, baby. and pro tip if you're bringing oil on a camping trip don't bring those big bottles I've actually emptied a hand sanitizer bottle and filled it with cooking oil because then I can just do this smart yeah I'm not too sure how healthy this is, but I know it tastes good. Ooh, that looks very unhealthy. Cornet Indomie a la Cris. Will it taste good? Possibly. Will I get full? Definitely. Tastes fantastic. Or maybe I'm just hungry. And you see, now we finished cooking. It's only raining a little bit, so we can sit outside and enjoy our Mi Coronet. I love this place. Absolutely love this place. And I just drank a mosquito. It didn't take much more than 10 minutes before the rain started again. I was luckily able to keep all the water outside of my tent, so none of my things got wet. I had hoped to send up the drone that afternoon, but nature had other plans, as the rain would continue until the following morning. Salama pagi guys. It is my last morning here in Olon, and I thought let's start this morning. Ah, start, start. I've been up for a couple of hours already. But it's around 6.30 now and I thought let's go up to the highest peak and see how the view looks like up there. So, on the way now.
Alright guys, my stay here in Olon is almost up. I didn't have fantastic weather, but it was still a really nice trip. That's why I recommend you guys to stay at least two nights. So, how do you get to Olon? Well, I would recommend either flying from Jakarta to Toraja, and then you can rent a bike or a car from Toraja. But you can also choose a bit cheaper version, which is flying from Jakarta to Makassar, and then taking a sleeper bus from Makassar to Toraja. All right, guys, it's time for me to pack up my stuff and uh, head towards Rantepao. Because before I leave Toraja, I wanted to show you guys one more really good place to stay. After a few nights of camping, there's nothing better than coming to a good place where you can relax for a bit in a comfortable bed. And I wanted to show you guys possibly the best place in Toraja before we continue to Sulawesi Tenkara. It has been amazing staying here in the Orland Valley. And I hope that I can come back one day again. Time to leave Olon. And it looks as good as it did when I arrived. Actually even better because I did pick up some trash as well. So before you leave Olon, make sure you bring all of your trash with you down the mountain. Even if it's not yours, just pick it up and it'll look really, really nice like this. Yep, let's go. And I am fully fried, I'm telling you. The sun is so strong. So now we got a couple of hours to go to Rantepao and then I need an ice cold shower and something with S in it, preferably lemon iced tea. Let's go. Let's go, my son. Nah. I will tell you this though. It's a good thing that they are making a new road towards Olon. Because after a couple of nights with heavy rain, the roads get extremely muddy. Especially if it's the weekend, where maybe a hundred bikes and cars will pass through here. But Machen was happy, and the KTM 790 Adventure Rally handled it without any problems. And it's always good fun to test Machan's abilities. All right, guys, we have made it to Rantepao, and I cannot tell you how much I need shade. I am totally burned. How much I need a shower. I smell like a goat and how much I need a proper bed. But I've made it to a place and the name of it pretty much says everything I need to know about it. So let's go and check it out. Pisa pa? Pisa. Yeah, tapi ada i eh ada. Ada begini. Oh, begini aja. Okay, hati-hati. All right guys. I made it to Hotel Santai here in North Toraja. It has been some tough and some incredible days. And what better way to end the Holland adventure than to come here, enjoy this beautiful view, have a nice bed, a proper shower, and uh, yeah, all oh, that's gonna be nice. <laughs> so don't forget guys, if you want to come to a place like this Santai, then just open up the Traveloka app. So as soon as I arrived, I simply showed my booking ID, they gave me the key and straight to the room. It's super easy. And when you book your accommodation, you can choose free cancellation. So in case you need to change your plans or cancel your trip, you can easily get your money back. And I can highly recommend this place if you come to Taraja. I just browsed through the menu as well. I will be ordering a lot of room service later. They have pizza, burger, ah, all the good stuff. They don't have any Indomie cornets. I will have to teach them how to make that. So now I will have a glass of ice cold S lemon tea. As I told you and then that's it thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in the next episode and until next time Tada guys <laughs>